Hello and welcome back. Uh, I want to apologize. The last episode was a little bit short. Uh, I had some uh, audio technical difficulties. I lost some of the audio, but you guys didn't miss too much. One of the last things we did in the last episode was I built this little centerpiece that I've been wanting to do with our little saltwater crocodile statue. It's a little wonky. People tend to walk through it. Um, <laughs> But it's all good. It's all good. Uh, and then the only other thing was I finished up this little staff area here that we had been working on and just got things sort of rearranged, put into new positions. Nothing too fancy. We'll come in and beautify it maybe at some point. Uh, just like I need to come in and beautify this area that I forgot about. Because um, boy, is it ugly. <laughs> Uh, um, but yeah, for now, we'll get to that in just a second. I think what I want to do first is actually deal with little Sheila. So another thing that I noticed at the end of last episode is that I need to do some touching up on Sheila's, um, exhibit. So for example, I need to put some trash cans all around, um... And I need to put some donation bins, because I don't want people just hooking their trash any old place. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna put lots and lots of trash cans around. Um, we'll stick one right over here as well. We'll go ahead and probably stick some trash cans in here, because I was just gonna say I bet people have been just throwing their trash on the floor. Um, willy-nilly, like animals. Go ahead and stick some trash cans over here, maybe? Yeah, we're gonna just throw down a whole bunch of trash cans, um, for everybody. So that they don't have an excuse to throw their trash everywhere. And we'll go ahead and pop some over here, because we're gonna get guests over here eventually. So we're gonna try and, like, future-proof a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, just throw down some trash cans, and we're also going to throw down... Where are they? Are they in education? I am going to get to education in just a second. Um, but I want to... Is it in finances? Yeah, donation bins. I think that Sheila is adorable, and I'm hoping that our guests will agree. So we're going to throw down a whole bunch of donation bins so that you're never more than a few feet away from donating to a good cause. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and throw down some donation bins in over here as well for when we eventually get some more animals, which is a goal of mine for today. We'll see how it goes, because I do, I want to work on this area today. So then the last thing is we need to work on our education, because that is consistently what keeps coming back as not being good enough. So I think maybe we will, since I've got some open space here, I think maybe we'll pop down some of these little education boards. And hopefully I'm not just spending all of my money. Um, I feel like they need to come down a little bit. Oops. That feels more correct. <laughs> um, no, I want to edit the... For once, I want to move the group. Um, <laughs> uh, there we go. And we'll go ahead and leave whatever those two are. And then we will change traditional medicine to... Let's do species reintroduction. And land sharing versus land sparing can be ecotourism. So people are getting nice and educated, and it's also providing a little bit of light, which is pretty fun. Um, yeah, and let's go ahead and keep going. We're on a roll, why stop now, right? Um, let's see, we need... where are my favorite little information signboards? Here we go. So, yeah, let's see. Perfect. And then maybe we'll pop one, like, right here. And maybe another one over here. Where's the front? There it is. <laughs> pop another one over here. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and future-proof for 
when we inevitably get more animals over on this side of the park. And we'll go ahead and throw down some signboards, maybe here, sort of near the split in the middle. Yeah, there we go. And then I need to put in my keeper talk point. A vista point? I have no idea what that means. A tour point? That's a new thing that I haven't gotten into yet. Uh, I assume the vista point is also new, but I need to put in a keeper talk. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead and put a keeper talk spot right over here. And then I need to link it to these three seats. Confirm. There we go. And we're going to talk about the saltwater crocodile. Um, I don't know how to up the scenery rating. <laughs> uh, so when is this one? This one gives its talk in March. So let's go ahead and make this be at a different time. So maybe we'll do it in the fall. So we'll do like September. And then I need to make sure that these guys are talking about saltwater crocodiles uh, and not Nile monitors. Uh, as wonderful as our Nile monitors are, we have information boards already. And then I think that our one person can cover both of those. I have to look into that. Where is our educator? Um, Okay, I didn't mean to make a new work zone. <laughs> uh, I wanted to add, let's see, staff room, work zone four. Let's go ahead and delete that because I didn't mean to do that. Um, <laughs> let's edit the zoo entrance work zone and we're going to go ahead and make sure that this guy is included. There we go. I wonder how you do the keeper talks with the exhibit animals. Our exhibit animals are probably not like super happy. Um, animals, I wonder, is it like in here maybe? I don't know. We're gonna deal with the exhibit animals a little bit later. Our boa constrictors are unhappy because there's too many of them. So we're gonna go ahead and Go into, not animal trading, into our zoo, into our animals. Here we go. And then, let's see. Uh, let's grab this boa constrictor and this one. And we'll go ahead and quick trade them for a little bit of extra money. Nice. I wonder if we should look into some marketing. Finances, marketing. We could do a print posters campaign, a cereal box advert, newspaper adverts. Um, I probably have enough money to do a small marketing thing. Divisive appeal, viral videos, banner ads. Um, Let's see, maybe we'll try just doing like a little marketing. We'll do it for one year and we'll see how it how it do. <laughs> um, wait, how do I still have... Wait a minute. How do I still have an extra boa constrictor? You two, come on. Quick trade. All right. Now that that is all good, let's see. Let's head on over to this area. I want to get a couple more animals and then maybe we'll spend an episode working on our little guest area. Oh my god. The game is not happy with me. <laughs> Oh man, this habitat is like falling apart. Is this mechanic coming to work on it? I certainly hope so. Okay, so we need to get some water going. 
in here. So let's go ahead and do some sculpting. We're going to sculpt down with a pretty low intensity because that's just how I like to do it. And we are going to... My game is going to be mad at me as I do this. Maybe we'll up the intensity a little bit so we get a slightly more noticeable dip. Uh, let's go ahead and... Wow, I really don't feel like that's doing anything. Maybe I do need the intensity all the way up. Maybe it's just because my game is lagging so badly. I need a better computer. Oh well. One day. Let's get it as close to the wall as we can. We're just going to kind of probably split this habitat pretty well in half. And we'll see how much water this is. Get this down a little bit more, maybe. It doesn't need to be super deep. Um, in fact, most um, crocodilians that I'm familiar with actually prefer sort of shallower water. Um, Yeah, come on. Um, there we go. They prefer shallower water um, since they're really mostly sitting on like the sides of river banks and stuff like that. Perfect. We have 500 meters of land area and 700 meters of water area. That's perfect. That's exactly what our Gariels and Caiman are going to want. So let's go ahead and do the same thing over here, pretty much. So. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna start in this back corner here, make a nice big spot, we'll kind of make it, maybe we'll pretend like this is almost like a, a river delta kind of a thing. So we're gonna have like little tendrils of water sort of spreading out along. Come on. Ugh. My game is so unhappy with me. <laughs> uh, we'll sort of deepen this back. Ooh, there we go. Picked up all of a sudden. Something, figured something out. <laughs> that's good. Uh, this water is gonna be really deep, but that's okay. Um, that might be like way too much water. We'll find out. It looks like a little um, dinosaur foot. <laughs> um, let's see how much this has now. Uh, oops, I was already there. 600 and 700. Again, perfect. Chef's kiss. <laughs> so we will go ahead and we will take a look at getting... Maybe we'll do the Cayman over here and the Garials over here? I don't know. That seems like... I should move this because th you can like barely see our little... Whoever's gonna be in this one, you can barely see them. Um... Which means now I need to move this guy. Well, you know, actually, I'll just move this one. <laughs> no, dang it. The whole group, please. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Exit? There we go. Why? <laughs> when I want to move the group, it doesn't let me. <laughs> anyway. There, we'll do that. It really does look like a foot. That's so funny. I didn't mean to do that, but I like it. Um, all right, so not the Nile monitor, but let's go ahead and look at the spectacled caiman. And I imagine that what they like is gonna be very similar. Spectacled caiman, here we go. So we'll start by going ahead and getting them a nice big food tray. Uh, we'll pop it over here so that our guests can get to see them do their thing, hopefully. And let's see, we'll throw a little shelter in the back, just cause I think it's always good to have a shelter for your animals. Do this nice and private in the back. Um, what is this? A jetty bedding platform, that's fun. Um, 
there's no leg straw. Oh well. Um, and then we'll go ahead and give them like a little ice ball maybe. And maybe a frozen block of fish. And we'll see how that does for enrichment for them. Um, yeah. And then we'll go ahead and swap over to the caiman. Or to the gharial, my bad. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be mostly the same stuff. Give them a nice big food tray. Get that out of the way. Some water. Um, and then I will wait until... This Australian shelter is fun. It could be fun for like a kangaroos or something. Um, gharials are actually a little bit on the bigger side. Um, so we'll give them a bit of a bigger shelter. And let's see. I don't know why this wild dog shelter keeps popping up. We'll give them a rubbing pad, how about? Seems like a good thing for them. And maybe we'll give them like a blood pumpkin over here. They're probably going to want more than that, but that's okay. And I think let's just go ahead and do it. Let's see about adding in these animals. So I think that I have animal storage. Let's see. Um... Let's look for... I don't think I have any Garial. I might have some from another zoo. Maybe we'll just use them. Because my trade center is real crowded. <laughs> um, as you can see from my many other uh, zoos that I have. Um, and then what was the other thing? The Spectacled Cayman. Spectacled. There we go. Confirm. I don't have either of those. I thought I had Cayman. Oh well, we'll just go ahead and look into buying some. So let's see, we've got this guy who's not great. This one is okay. And this male. Um, this male's pretty good actually. Uh, we've got some females here. This female is great. We'll get this female. Adopt. And then maybe we'll get this guy. Adopt. I'm still on the lookout for uh, albino saltwater crocodiles. Wow, not a lot of crocodiles on the market today. So, oops, no, I wanted to do this. So we're gonna take the spectacled caiman out since I've got some now. And then we're gonna go hunting for some gharials. Oh, there's all of our saltwater crocodiles. <laughs> no albinos today though, that's all right. Let's see. I'm very excited to get all of these animals in. Um, Komodo dragons. I do think I have some Komodo dragons from a previous zoo. Here's some gharials. Let's see. There's a pretty good female here for not very much. So let's go ahead and grab her. And then we just need a male. These guys are really expensive. Um, let's see. He's not too bad. This guy is even cheaper. I'm hesitant to click away because I'm worried he'll I'll lose my chance at him. Ooh, this one's even cheaper. Apparently there's tons of gharials out there. <laughs> so let's see, we don't need any more gharials. Ah, my crocodile's gonna have another baby. Hey girl, you are just quite the mama, huh? <laughs> she is fast asleep. I don't think she's gonna have this baby anytime soon. Uh. Oh, ooh, she's up. Let's see. Oh, and she's down again. Baby time? Wow, look at the patterning on her legs. I never noticed that. It's so pretty. What do you think, Mama? You gonna have your babies? Uh-oh, game lag. <laughs> there we go. What do you think? Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you off to? Oh my goodness. Where is our mama crocodile off to? Oh, just right outside of the shelter. No? Still not gonna have your babies? Come on. She like... <laughs> wow, look at that one! It's so cute! Mentari! Oh! Oh my gosh! Just the one? I think she only has them like one at a time. 
Look at this little snapper. Wow. Uh, genetics. Yellow gray scaled skin with dark markings. So pretty. I don't know. I'm kind of in love with this little one. I'll be honest. She might get the other, um, the other pen. <laughs> I was going to put a male baby in there, but she might get her other pen. I think she's got some of the prettiest markings. She's green gray. I think Sheila is green as well. Um, oh, Sheila's pretty dark. Gray scaled. Yeah. Well, that's very exciting. We have another little saltwater crocodile baby born. Um, how are our Nile monitors doing? Just before we throw a bunch more animals into the zoo. Um, to it, almost three years old. Okay, so our Nile monitors are going to need addressed pretty soon here. Um, and I think that our eldest daughter in here is going to need... Well, Sheila's our eldest eldest. And Sheila is 13 years old. So I think it's 15 maybe that they max out on. Uh, habitat has damaged barriers. Uh-oh. Let's call the mechanic. Um, <laughs> definitely don't want that. Um, the inspector's here. Oh, boy. I should make sure that all my animals are happy real quick. Let's see. Our crocodiles seem to be pretty good. Our little, um, Sheila seems to be pretty happy. Oh, except her nutrition is low. Um, where is it? Animals. Food grade. Let's give her the best food. Come on. What are we doing here? Um, our Nile monitors seem to be doing pretty good as well. So let's go ahead and see about adding in. Let's see, we're going to make this our spectacled caiman. Spectacled... I'm just going to call it caiman because I don't think I could spell spectacled. Caiman. <laughs> and then this is going to be... Gariel Grotto, because I love alliteration. And we'll make this one Cayman Cove, because why not? It's my zoo, and I get to have fun with it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at our anims now. Um, and we can add in our little Cayman. Send to zoo over here. And we can add in our Gariels and send them to the zoo. And then I need to make sure that those are both in a work zone. So let me go deal with that real quick with my staff. Work zone. So zoo entrance, we're going to go ahead and give that. Oh, we're going to put that there. Um, and then guest plaza. We're going to go ahead and give that habitat to the guest plaza, and we're going to take that out. There we go. And I don't actually know if I have a mechanic assigned to the guest plaza. Oh yeah, I do. That's good. He's overworked. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Let's go ahead and train up some of our people, too. Like our vet. Um, we'll train up our keeper. Anybody who seems like they're having a bit of trouble. Um, we'll go ahead and train up this caretaker too, because why not? Um, definitely want to train up, if we can, our um, store workers. And the caimen are here! Yay! Now we need to make this habitat just wonderful for them. Alright. Oh my gosh! He is so much bigger than her. I mean, that's normal, I guess. <laughs> that's just really funny. All right, they're feeling super happy. And I should actually, real quick, before we do that, let me get my vet. Nope, not the mechanic, the vet. Let me get my vet to researching. Come on. Oh gosh, my poor computer. I'm asking a lot of it. So let me go ahead and get my vet. We're gonna start with the Cayman. And then we will get to the Gariel. Um, all right. Let's see. So they want more rock in their habitat. So let's do that. Oh, not the terrain stamp. Painting. Let's get them some rough rock. Uh, 
How we doing? Good, good, good. They could also do with some more sand, so maybe we'll do some more sand as well. Let's do some of this coarse sand here along the water. Because I like the look of that. And they don't really like grass very much. Wow, they really want a lot of rock. We'll just go ahead and make most of this rock then. There we go. And then, let's see. They want more plant coverage, yay! So let's go ahead and take a look at our plants. Whoa. I clicked on the water somehow, that's impressive. Um, environment, tropical, grasslands, and aquatic. Not Oceania, and not temperate. I guess I'll have to remember to uh, clear up some of these. Ooh, yeah, let's put some of these awesome Amazon water lilies. These guys are super awesome. They're huge. Um, okay, so X. Scoot those guys up to the surface of the water. It got really dark all of a sudden. Cool. I freaking love these Amazon water lilies. There we go. We'll go ahead and scoot it this way. And maybe we'll rotate it a little bit. Scoot it. I could spend forever just freaking placing these guys. Maybe one more like super huge. Oh no, you know what? Uh, let's do the little tiny one. And then let's do just a big ol' single. And a couple of them. Yeah, all right. Ooh, these acai palms are really cool. Let me let me get out of the fancy edit and let's throw a couple of these palm trees in. And a couple little banana palms. These guys seem to like having a lot of plants, which is music to my ears. A Brazil nut? Let's put one of those in. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Ooh, awesome. We can do a fun little... I didn't mean to favorite that, even though they are pretty cool. We can do a couple little saplings. Um, or, sorry, not saplings, tree stumps. Which I bet these guys would love to just, like, rub up against. Um, like, to itch themselves. Sorry, that sounded really weird. <laughs> we'll go ahead and give them a little bit more privacy around their shelter back here. Um, ooh, a coconut palm. Let's put a tall coconut palm over here. Ah, uh, <laughs> not where I wanted that to go. Uh, we'll put some little coconut palm trees. And let's see, a little, little bush. Ooh, yeah, look at these guys. These are pretty. Go ahead and stick that there. And maybe some over here. The inspector has left their report. A kapok tree. Oh, those are the massive ones. <gasps> oh, I forgot about how much I love lobster claws. <laughs> I'm just filling their exhibit with plants because they're not complaining about it. Came in after my own hearts. Oh my gosh, look at these crazy trees. A scaviola bush. These guys are kind of fun. We'll throw one of those in there. A strangler fig tree. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Let's put one of those in. It's like massive. Oh, the Swiss cheese plants are great too. I love these guys. I could put so much in here. But I will I will call it there shortly. Ooh, just one yellow ipe tree. Or maybe two. Maybe this big this little one. Yeah, there we go. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of all of these so that when I do the Gariel, it's not influenced. 
Um, oops, that's not what I wanted. I actually do want to click on these guys. And let's see. Their social is good, their habitat is great, their enrichment is okay. Um, so the ice ball. Let's see, habitat, enrichment. Maybe we'll give them a little scent marker. There we go. All right, and then I bet our Gariel are in. Yeah, look at that. Look at these big-nosed guys. Look at these silly big noses. They seem to be pretty happy, too. They're a little bit stuck on each other, it looks like. Wow, the size. I just can't get over these size differences. The terrain is not ideal for them. There's too much long grass and not enough rock and sand. So let's go ahead and fix that. Let's go ahead and get some rocks in here. Go ahead and get rid of all of this grass. Whoops, I didn't mean to get over the path, but that's okay. Um, go ahead and get lots of rock. Too much rock, that's okay, because we're gonna come in with the sand and we'll get some of that back out. Yeah, nice. Lots and lots of sand for my gharials. Because we love the sand. They do want soil, though, so we'll just go ahead and pick some of this rock away. And, like, anywhere else where there's grass. These guys just really hate grass. There we go. They're nice and happy now. <coughs> And they want coverage too! Yay! Alright, let's get some plants in here. So, Asia, Temperate, Tropical, and Aquatic. Let's see, we've got these <laughs> African oil palms, apparently. Ooh, this is a pretty tree. Let's go ahead and put, um, put some of these in here, maybe. Just the one. Um, let's see, there's like a little bush kind of thing. Interesting, interesting. What else do we have? Ooh, azaleas! I love azaleas, actually, in real life. Um, fun fact. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just throw some little azaleas in. I do love these banana palms. I like making little stands of them with their like different sizes. I think it's very cute. Ooh, some bamboo, yeah. Let's go ahead and put some bamboo along the back here. Nice thick bamboo patch. Oh wow, we're like super filling up really fast. Let's see. Uh, I do want to put some of these, like, lotuses in. So let's go ahead and pop some of these guys. And we'll do another, like, little one, maybe. Over here, perhaps? Red. Go ahead and scooch it, like, over there. Ooh, yeah, these bracken are really nice. Don't want to overdo with the plants too much because I will <laughs> if I'm not careful. Um, ooh, a bramble bush. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's just all of those, um, all of those bamboo are what the, um, ooh, and some cattails. Nice. The bamboo is what's crowding up the area, but it's okay. I could put a cherry blossom, but I think we're good. Uh, maybe I'll stick one of these little mangrove trees in though, because I think they're really cute. A coconut palm. What is this? A grapevine. Oh, interesting. And grapes, wow. There's some reeds. We will do some little reeds. Salt wart. Aw, cute little. Some cute little bushy things. What else? What else? Elephant ears are really fun. Maybe just like a nice tall elm tree or something. I don't want to do too much. Oh, a big old rose bush. 
Sheila's about to grow up. Ooh, let's throw one of these Himalayan birches in, and then I think we'll probably call it. Because I want to go... Ooh, and maybe one little Japanese maple, just because I do love a Japanese maple. And a fern. Is this on the ground? Oh, it is. We gotta go check on Sheila. I'm coming, Sheila, I promise. I don't want to fill up with too many plants. Ah, Scaviola. Okay, okay, okay. Underwater temple plant. Okay, we'll throw a couple of little... The spectacled caiman is about to mate. Okay, okay, we're done. <laughs> Ooh, feisty. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on all of a sudden. Beautiful. The work of nature. Uh, okay. Let's see. Any luck? Offspring too! Yay! I'm really happy with how these two little habitats have turned out. Oh, I need to put some benches down. Okay. The last thing I'll do, I promise, benches. And then we're going to go look at bins, benches, benches. Um... Which benches do we want? I kind of like these new world benches, or like, yeah, these new world benches. Sheila has matured! Okay, 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 we're gonna go over as quick as we can. I just want to get some benches down so that people can sit. We'll put some benches down preemptively over here. Um, and we'll put some benches down. I don't think I ever got benches over by Sheila, so let's go ahead and do that as well. Oh my god, somebody- I heard somebody say Sheila! That's so cool! Oh, I did put benches down. <laughs> That's okay. We always need places to sit. Where's Sheila? Where is she? How do you lose a massive crocodile? Wait, really though? Where is my crocodile? Oh, there she is! I forgot she's a girl. The girls aren't nearly as big as the boys. She's about to have babies already? Sheila's an adult! Oh my gosh, I can't believe our Spectacle Caitman is having babies already. They literally just made it! I'm gonna have to see what the gestation period is on these guys here in just a second. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I feel like I am just running around like an absolute mad woman trying to keep up with all of these crocodilians. <laughs> you gonna have your babies? I don't know. I have any idea how many babies the caimen are supposed to have. Some amount. <laughs> We're gonna find out shortly. Oh, I think it's time. I think maybe. No, no. Find a place. Settle down. Yes? Right there? No? Maybe? <laughs> Half in the water, it looks like. Well? Babies? <gasps> Baby! Two baby! They're just, like, overlapped. <laughs> How many are you gonna have? Andressa! Three at least. Oh gosh, zooming too far. Is it three? Is three the magic number? <laughs> Look at these little guys. Four? Did she have four babies? Let's see. Um, no, stud book. Yeah, four little babies! A three? Wait. Hang on. <laughs> she had four children. Oh god. Oh god. Camera is sliding a little bit. Let's see. Um, all boys. Esteveo, maybe? Guilherme? Reginaldo and Renato. All boys. <laughs> That's very fun. Um... Take me to the Zoopedia. I want to find out more about Cayman. Oh god, my game is lagging so bad. 
Okay. So... <laughs> we can't keep these boys, unfortunately. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. They reach sexual maturity at six years. They live for like 50, which is crazy. Um, they have three to eight babies. So this was on the small side. The gestation period is one month. That's insane. That's so fast. And our Nile monitor had more babies. I thought these were supposed to be really hard to breed. Oh my gosh, she had albino babies! Okay, well we may have to make a little um, side exhibit for our albino Kairunisa. Um, or she's got a sibling over here. Um, Rehan. If they weren't siblings, I would breed them together, but they are. So we'll have to grab one of those albino babies when they grow up and maybe make another exhibit. Maybe we can make a tiny little one over here or something, depending on how big this Komodo dragon exhibit ends up being. Um, wow, that's so exciting. That's so fun. Um, let's see. We completed a challenge. We have 500 guests in the zoo. Um, let's see. And we have some more vet research done. Our animals are just having babies left, right, and center, which is very exciting. No, don't rest. No, don't do that. Um, I'm very excited that our Sheila here is now officially an adult. And I think maybe we should celebrate Sheila being an adult by maybe looking to see if we can find Sheila a mate. So we've got this guy who's okay. Um, I really want to get Sheila an albino mate if I can, but that may be easier said than done because they're usually selling for a lot because they're pretty rare. Um, man, there was a couple days ago where I saw some on the market that were cheap and I should have grabbed them. Gariel is about to inbreed. Wait, 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 wait. Did I adopt you guys from the same zoo? Oh no! Okay, quick, put her on contraceptives. Um, okay, um, she's kind of old anyway, so I think maybe we will um see if we can get another female. Can Gariel's um? Okay, we can have multiple females and males apparently. So maybe instead of looking for a mate for our lovely um, Sheila, maybe we will look for a mate for our Gariel, which means I need to put Gariels back on the list. Um, so we're looking for a female Gariel or a cheap male saltwater crocodile. Um, preferably an albino, but I'm not going to be super picky forever. Um, let's see, where are our Gariels? Let's see if we can find a female. I want to get platypus added in soon, too. I'm going to have to do some looking into what it takes for platypus. Gariel. Let's see. We've got this female, who's pretty high quality. I don't... I didn't pay attention to what zoo. Um, or this one, who's less high quality, but cheaper. Let's, um, let's just go ahead and send her in right away and see if we can get some Gariel bred up. Um, yeah. Our new Gariel has arrived. Yay! Let's go ahead and take a look at her. Where is she? There she is, right by the entrance. And hopefully this will not result in inbreeding. She's also kind of old. That's okay. Um, well, that was exciting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, you know what? Let's deal with this. Because I don't want this to have a negative impact on my guests. So let's see if we can put together some like decorations or something. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, my eye just got caught. Bye. Um, it's probably long gone by now. Oh no, there he is. It's our security guard. No. 
Hold still. Here we go. He's apprehending a miscreant. <laughs> Reporting incident. Our miscreant got away, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. Um yeah. Let's see. How how is our how is our zoo doing? Let's go ahead and <laughs> can do our, our Cayman research. How's our zoo doing? Um there's our taxes. Our guest happiness is pretty high still. Uh here's all of our staff. Let's see. Um we have our marketing is not doing anything? What? Oh, maybe our marketing is done. Maybe we'll go ahead and just keep doing, like, family hour. Let's see, finances. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. So now we're maxing out our marketing. Our guest happiness is super high. Our education is still pretty low. How does our inspection report? Okay, it's it's okay. It's getting there. <laughs> it's raining again. It rains a lot. Our animal rating is going up. Our conservation rating is okay. Um, we're doing pretty good. Our most appealing species is still the saltwater crocodile and the boa constrictor. Uh, we'll have to deal with our exhibit animals here in a bit. The zoo feels pretty small. I can't wait to see Animal Talk 2. Um, education is really the only thing that people feel like they don't have access to. <coughs> but otherwise, their needs are pretty well met. Crime uh, looks like it's pretty good. There was one vandalized object last year. Um, <laughs> Pickpot. Pickpot get victims oh my gosh we're getting pickpockets a lot um maybe i'll work on training up my security guard um and maybe i should get another one for the new area where are they they seem to have an efficient workload staff rooms um i've been building the big staff rooms so we seem to be okay for the most part um yeah <coughs> What's all the rest of this? Facilities. Vet research complete. Our vest research is going. Vet research is going really fast. Um, conservation boards give a little bit. Education boards give more. Um, or is this just the percentage of what we have? Education speakers aren't really giving anything. That's weird. I wonder how you... Um, I wonder how you do better with that. Transport, I don't have any. Memorials, I don't have any. Uh, the inspector has left a report. The Nile monitors and the Cayman are a little bit unhappy. Um, that's okay. We're gonna, we'll deal with that later, I think. Um, I want to, <laughs> let's see, giraffe statues are really fun. Um, let's see. Could put down some fun planters, maybe. Australian sculpture collection. Whoa, this is awesome. It moves. Okay, well, we definitely have to put this down somewhere. Um, oh, there's a cassowary. Wow, look at this guy. These sculptures are so awesome. Let's see, there's little pandas. A classic nature scene. That would be kind of nice. I think it's a little bit too big, though. Boreal s- Whoa! This is awesome! Man, I have saved some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> a fountain could be fun. Oh, a little walkway. That's cute. Um, architecture? Yeah, maybe we'll just like throw down some fun walls. Um, let's see. These arctic walls are really f cool. Um, let's see. Doors and windows, roofs and floors, wall decorations, walls. Let's take a look at walls. <laughs> there's little pillars. Ooh, there's a really cool turtle mosaic. Um, a temperate forest planter, also pretty cool. 
Um, some shops, a marketplace, some more marketplace-y kinds of things. Let's see, a lot of these, these walls are very boring. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Ooh, these like stone walls are kind of fun. Or some wooden walls. A water wheel. Pretty neat. Ooh, these glass walls are really beautiful. But to kind of defeat the purpose of what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, a gorilla fountain. A glass dome. Whoa, a hippo fountain. A greenhouse. Wow, that's so cool. Hippo underwater viewing dome. Plank walls, ice block walls, ice waterfall. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. So much stuff. I just want to find like a cool little building. Oh, this New World Fountain is really fun. You know what? Let's see if we can find somewhere. Like maybe we'll pop it in to the center over here. And we can like put some benches around it. Yeah. We'll put some benches and like some tables and stuff like that. And we'll treat this like a little gazebo maybe. There's so much cool stuff. I'm totally distracted. A big fountain spot. How big is big? Pretty big. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I have so much stuff saved. Okay, focus, focus. We need something to put in the corner there. Educational panel, wolves. How about maybe just like this wooden plank stuff, maybe. Can they walk through this? Like if I put this up here? Are my keepers gonna be able to walk through it? Uh, I certainly hope so. I guess we'll find out. Is this, oh, it's short. No, I want a tall one for sure. Here we go. Yeah, so maybe I can just like stick some plank walls here. I really hope that my keepers can come through here. I hope that I haven't just like blocked this off for them. I don't know, maybe I will put a doorway just in case. Oh, some of our Nile monitors are maturing. Okay, we're gonna have to throw those guys into the um, shelter pretty soon. The trade center. That's what I'm looking for. Dangerous fighting. Okay, we'll do it now. We'll do it now. Okay, animals. Okay. So, who were our originals? Oh, that's going to be the tricky part. Is figuring out who were the originals. Um, okay, we'll do it another way then. We'll do it this way. Animals. Uh, okay, here we have the Nile monitors. Four years, seven years, eleven years. Okay, four years old. That's right. That's when they mature. So four years, four years, four years, four years, four years, four years. I forgot she had so many freaking babies. Four years. All right. So let's go ahead and oh, we could release them to the wild, or we could send them to the trade center. Let's go ahead and rehome. Fertile animals cannot be rehomed. Oh, interesting. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and send them to the trade center for right now. Um, move to the trade center. We'll unpause so that they actually go there. <laughs> oh no, it's my mom and dad. They're like, ugh, get these kids out of the house. Oh no, no! Grumpy mama. Oh no! Call a vet, call a vet! Are they both injured? No, he's okay. Stop! Stop your fighting! It's okay now, I promise! <laughs> oh no, I think they're still fighting. Are you done? Okay, I think they're done. Okay, so let's go in now to the Animal Trade Center. Now that uh, my Manile monitors aren't killing each other anymore. And we can go ahead and... Not worried about the Gariel or... Where'd they go? Nile monitor. Yes. Not worried about the spectacled caiman though. Confirm. Alright, they're taking... They're taking my girl. That's good. Okay, so here are our really wonderful high quality Nile monitors. So let's definitely... Let's see. So I can release them to the wild or I can trade them. So I think we'll probably put a couple of them up for trade and we'll release maybe most of them to the wild. So yeah, let's go ahead and release those to the wild because I think that the Nile monitors are endangered. And then we'll go ahead and put these other guys up for trade and maybe make a bit more of a profit <laughs> off of them. Uh, we won't put them up for super expensive. We'll put them up for like, I don't know, maybe 200. No. We'll put them up for like 200. So we're making a little bit of a profit. Um, and we'll go ahead and, whoops. Put this one up for trade again for like 200. And we'll just see how that goes. Whoa, look at all those people. Um, and we did something else, I guess. Um, we increased our conservation rating to three stars, probably because we released those animals. Awesome. Okie dokie. Um, so we got this. I have not seen anybody go through here. Uh, I think they can, though. I guess they don't really have a reason to. Um, but I also want to put down some nature. So let's go ahead and look for some Australian plants. Ooh, what is this? African nature scene. That's fun. Um... I want Oceania though. And let's go ahead and look for like some trees. Let's see. These fan palms are quite fun. A baobab tree is very big. Much bigger than we need. Ah, oh, there's so many expansion packs I need to get. Let's see. Mangroves. We're not really near water at the moment. A corkwood tree. That's cute. Go ahead and pop a couple of these guys in. A desert. Ooh, does it say bloodwood? Wow, that's cool. Some elephant ears, maybe, because I love these guys. What is this? A custard apple. <laughs> um, ooh, yeah, these fairy flowers. Um, oh gosh, pop-ups that you probably can't see. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll put a little, 
A little patch of those fairy flowers, maybe? A foxtail palm? That doesn't really go. Um, we'll pop another... Give me, like, that little guy in here. I love these ghost gums, but I think we'll probably hold off on putting one in here. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll do, like, some of these vines. I want something, like, kind of long and skinny. Maybe we'll just do this. Um, so... This is going to be a process. Just bear with me while I figure this out. <laughs> um, let's see. Scoot this guy here. X to rotate. Does that look? Not at all. <laughs> let's see. Go ahead and do like that, maybe. X again. Okay, they can walk through. Yay! Let's see. Scoot that in there. Maybe slide it up a little bit and over and I'm happy with that we'll grab maybe this guy and there we go there we go look at that I'm, I'm figuring it out a little bit there's not like a really long skinny one is there not really. Okay, so we'll we'll call that for that. Um, primate climbing tree, a rainbow eucalyptus. Ugh, we're gonna have to get a bunch of those in. Oh my gosh, they're so big. Um, ooh, this oat grass. This will be great. Let's go ahead and get um, some of this over here. Oh, look at that! It's so tiny. Uh, scaviola, no, I think I'm good. A silky oak. Strangler fig. Tamarind. Ooh, let's do some of these tree ferns, how about? Because I really love tree ferns. We'll go ahead and pop another little one right there. And maybe one over here. Eelgrass. Oh, I should put some eelgrass in some stuff. And let's do one of these little wattle bushes, I guess, or two of them. I have no idea what it is, but it's cute. I like the name. I want to slap some eelgrass into some of these spots before I forget. Maybe even pop some eelgrass in. With our garials and caimans. Eelgrass is really cool if you've never seen it in real life. It is pretty neat, I think. <sighs> Alright. I think that's... Yeah, that's something. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if that... Is that fixing the negative effect on our guests? Not really. That's so weird. What does it take to fix that for them? Um, maybe if I put some walls like directly around this guy? Um, let's see. Where are, like, the... You know, I may just put just, like, some big ass... <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we'll just put, like, a little box around it. Put a little shell. Is there, like, a three-sided? No, there's an arch. I can just put a back on it. Um, let's see. Australian. Yeah, let's just put this Australian shell around this. Uh, whoops. Do, do, do. Oops. Um, we're going to move this. There we go. And then we'll just add like a nice back wall here and Z it. And there we go. And exit. There, and now it's nice and in a box. <laughs> Is that fixing it? No! How do I... How do I stop it from having a negative impact on my guests? They can't even see it. I mean, they can see, like, this stuff. I guess it's the noise, maybe? I don't know. 
We'll have to experiment with that a little bit later, I think. Um, but for now, I think that that is going to have to do it for us. I think that we've done a lot of really awesome work today. Ooh, you know what? Real quick before we go, let's just look one more time in the Animal Trade Center for a saltwater crocodile. A boy who's an albino, hopefully. <laughs> No, there's like no crocodiles. Um, and it looks like our Nile monitors have not gotten scooped up by anybody yet. Okay. I'm so happy with how this little corner of our zoo is turning out. Just look at this. We've got our gharial and our caimans. This exhibit is still empty. We'll work on that. But we've got people coming over. They're donating money. We've got Sheila. Our big girl finally all grown up, um, living her best life. She really likes this tiny little pool of water. I guess maybe it smells like her family. I don't know. We've got these guys. Let's see, how how are these guys doing? Little Merpati is probably getting pretty close to growing up as well. Uh, like 14 years or so, I think, and then she'll be all grown up. Um, the entrance to the zoo, I think, looks a lot better, too, um, if I'm being honest. <laughs> this little area could use some work, but I have a thought that maybe we'll turn this into a little tiny exhibit. Um, I have to do a little bit of research um, on what I want to put in here and see if it'll fit. But yeah, let's see. We have a keeper hut and a staff room, I think, but I probably need to put a little vet clinic in here. Um, so that will have to be, uh, something for next time so that when our Nile monitors inevitably start fighting, we can deal with that. We should look at getting the Komodo dragon exhibit built as well as maybe a little albino, uh, exhibit for our Nile monitors. That would be really awesome, I think. And definitely need to work on, uh, upgrading this area. This area is pretty sad. We can at least get some tables and benches in and then hopefully look into doing something better with what's over here. Because <laughs> these look awesome. And these look awful. So we'll definitely look into that next time. We have lots to do. So much to do here always something going on but we are making good progress i think we're making lots of money we're making good profit um our zoo's pretty highly rated even which is also very exciting we're doing pretty good on our inspections we just gotta push a little bit further uh, i'm really excited to keep going with this though i hope you are as well i hope that you will tune into the next one when we maybe finally tackle this guest plaza that would be a lot of fun, I think. Um, maybe I'll do a stream tackling the guest plaza. Who knows? Haven't quite decided. But yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you for the next one. Let's finish up here by watching our keeper talk. And until next time, bye bye. <laughs>